Uh, I hope y'all are doing fine, and I think it's a good day to talk about this title that I got, or for YouTube, this title down here, uh, how my channel got shut down, and I want to tell y'all what's going on out here. I've taken the last uh, week, and I've compiled a lot of data. I've talked to a lot of people online. I've talked to a few people on the phone. I found out what's going on, and uh, it wasn't hard to find out, uh, and it's very easy to understand. And I'm going to tell you this, but before we get started, uh, for anybody out here that's either watching a video of mine for the first time or my regular tribe, my regular brothers and sisters that I love dearly or that are out here every day, or even you haters that have done this um, and, and hurt your brother, hurt your very own brother, hurt your very own fellow man, uh, I just want to explain that all along, uh, since Australia about six years ago, I've been putting out videos against fracking pointing out the chemtrails, asking questions. As this channel evolved, as I evolved as a human being and a brother with you and our tribe evolved, we realized that racism was a lie, that the class war was designed to keep us apart. As we figured these things out, we have managed to move forward. And there's several thousand of us strong in this tribe that can move forward now and live our lives and live because we put things down. But a lot of people out there think that the man keeps you down or that these social networks keep you down. It's not, y'all. There really are these group of, and, and I'm going to point out the ones that, that got me and, uh, and the ones that really have this need to be the super race so fucking bad they just can't stand it. So they just promote this. And anybody that don't see things their way, they attack or they do this kind of stuff, this cyber stalking bullshit, because they've learned. And I'm talking about the white nationalists in America, the white supremacists in South Africa, primarily you South African baby raping white nationalist mother or white supremacist. These are white supremacists. Our, our people here in America, y'all, they're not that bad. These some bitches in South Africa, they really think these people are animals and they have a right to kill them. And they really do threaten to rape your baby. My, they threaten to rape, rape my one year, old, one year old granddaughter. And that's where I got fired up. Cause I can't go to South Africa and beat nobody's ass. I can't go to South Africa and just wring these some bitches neck. No, I can't do nothing about them. And I'm not the kind that turn in people's free speech. It's just when I do get a chance and I do find you, you're going to lay on the ground and bleed, but fine. I can't do nothing about these bastards. So this is what they do. They get shut down for hate speech. They get shut down. These white nationalists, these white supremacists and the white supremacists in Australia, they're the other ones and some European groups. There's some Polish ones that speak English and uh, some German. Uh, and some English, lots of British. There's a lot of British white supremacists. Woo, go figure on that one. Now, what they see in me, and this is why they hate my gut so much, it's not because I bust them out so bad. It's because what they see is what's supposed to be the epitome of their hatred, of, of their self-loathing, of their thinking that their race is better. Because they think this blonde-haired, blue-eyed, blonde-haired, blue-eyed white man is the superpower on the earth. Well, I'm a blonde haired, blue eyed white man and I stuck it in their fucking ass. I showed them that I was a human being, being human. I like being human. Cause some of you human beings, y'all trip me out. I live like I want to. What they see is a free white man cause they're not free white men. They're not free, they're slaves to the system. The system that's built around them, the organized farming, the super farms, the industrial revolution, the war machine. This is all the white man. So when a white man like me, the epitome of the white man, they want to be, they want to be the blonde haired, blue eyed, Aryan looking piece of shit like they want to be. Well, you ain't. I am. But guess what? I'm not like them. So they hate me. I show freedom. I show, I show that racism don't matter. I show that the government don't matter, that a white man can stand against the government. I show that a white man can stand against racism. I show that a white man can stand against organized religion, especially the lie called Christianity. I show them that a white man can just stand up and be a man. I show, I show that the white black thing don't matter. I show that all men are my brothers, the things that they're scared of, because they're the, the white nationalist and the white supremacist are the most fearful slaves in the world, because these some bitches know better than anybody else that they're only 9% of the global population and they scared of it. And that's why they scared of you. And I've been doing this for the last six years, pointing out the bad toxic things on this planet, 
my main concern is Mother Earth. But when I realize that without our brotherhood and our unity, that we cannot save a whole planet unless at least half the population is going to brother up and, and, and become the stewards that we're supposed to be and drop this bullshit. The money, the, 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 the education, the, the, the whole scheme, the society, all of it, the house, the white picket fence, the car, the gasoline, everything. We got to buck on and save our planet. But because of this kind of bullshit with the racism, this is why racism is promoted. You got the class war, the race war, the drug war. They try to keep us down with so many mental things because they're all the war for the mind. Well, these are the white people that lost. Now you say, well, Bill, we're, we're hearing you and we know that these people are out there. How, what has this got to do with your channel? They didn't shut me down like I told y'all. They now listen here. All right, here's what here's what the deal is about the the gang stalking. These South African bastards have kind of uh, online. You know how you can get online and make groups and meet each other. Um, uh, I got the one guy Starbird disagrees. This guy Starbird disagrees. He's in the he's in the description. Look in the description down there. All right, he's in the description. Go look at his work. I don't have to say anything about this fucking. Australian born or he's either born in Australia and lived in South Africa or he's born in South Africa and now he lives in Australia. Either way, this is King Whitey of the white racist supremacist, y'all. All he does, all his videos are about white people being beat down and uh, uh, everybody's against him. He, he came at me and this is the start of my trouble on YouTube. This is why I know he is the kingpin or one of them and I don't know who runs the show. But the Starbird disagree, guys, it's in his. He's got like 6,200 subs. He had about 5,000-something subs a few months back when he jumped on me. So he's, he's leveled out at about 6,200 subs. In his sub list, and like, this is something I don't like doing either, y'all. I don't like cheesing out people, but these bastards fucking took my goddamn channel. So I'm trying to tell y'all how I lost my channel. This guy and his 6,200 subs have made a group. They have a line with the white nationalists, a few white nationalists over here in America, um, a lot of these guys hate me. There's about 20 or 30 of them. They really some out the young men that are lost and don't know what they're doing. Uh, Gunshine Fast, he's one of them down there in Florida. Uh, there's a couple of others that, that, that think they're Aryan Nation. Or uh, When I started ragging the white nationalists, y'all remember the big white nationalist video where, where I told them Tiki Torch carrying dumbasses that they need to dry ass beat? That's when, that's when I started getting trouble from the American uh, the American uh, haters, the, Amer the American racists, the American white supremacists, apparently white nationalists. Uh, I don't think many of them all think their race is better, but they do think they're better, and they think that this is their America, and they can get some of this too. But uh, they have aligned with these South Africans, because it wasn't until I got uh, to um, uh, Star Pants. I call him Star Pants, because I bet cause he sounds like some little gay Mr. Rogers, which probably ain't a bad thing in South Africa or Australia. But um, <laughs> this guy, as soon as he made a video about me, as soon as he started complaining about me, as soon as he did it, that's when I got my first strike on YouTube. Because uh, he pointed out a video I made about white genocide, which is now gone. Of course, I got all the copies of all my videos, and I can put them all back up if I want. But the, the bottom line is he, I made a video about white genocide in South Africa, showed how it was only 134 people being murdered a year, all their stats, all their lies, all them trying to get back their government and blaming it on the jungle man, killing them, the savages, and calling them that was all a lie. He didn't like that, so he made a video on me, and from there it went downhill. They turned in that video, and then these men were on there uh, threatening to rape my wife, my daughter, and my one-year-old granddaughter. When I busted them out, that's when YouTube got me on my first strike. It was uh, the name of the video was South Af South African white men threatened to rape my one year old grandbaby. That was the title because that's what they did. Now I knew I was setting myself up for a lick from YouTube, but I didn't know how far it go, and I didn't know they take all the videos and all that ten years, especially the last six years of videos. Uh, I didn't think they take it all, but they did. So it's gone, and you can thank these guys. I'm giving y'all the the group of people to thank for this. So Star Pants and his group get me the first strike, and then they just stalked me. Then I made one about headlines, and the, and the headline was, I kissed a 12-year-old girl, and I liked it. But the, the video was, when I kissed a 12-year-old girl, I was 12 years old, and I was in uh, sixth grade. You see what I'm saying? And it was just to show people that how tricky headlines are. They turned that one in for sexually explicit material. So that was my second strike. And then they went back all the way to... September 29th, 2016, almost two years ago, coming up on two years, a year and 10th, they had gone that far back. They have been turning in every one of my videos. 
This is what these gang stalking white supremacists are going to do to everybody that speaks out against the Klan, the Aryan nation, white nationalism, white haters, period. This is what you're going to get. Because, see, this is what other people did to them. The one, now, I will say this, and a lot of you ain't going to like this, but this is true. Whether you like it or not, we do have free speech in America. I'm going to say this much. But if you don't like it, you don't have to hear it. Okay, now that's, that's the clincher. And some of that free speech will get your ass put in jail. So free speech ain't free because you can't get on the plane and say bomb. And you can't go inside of a black church and holler the N-word. Ain't that right? That guinea will tell you. You can't do stupid shit like that. But you got the freedom to say it. So when you get out there and you talk rhetoric that ain't true or has no basis, just ask them, it don't only happen to you stupid, dumbass white nationalists and you white supremacists. It happens to the flat earthers. It happens to a lot of religious people. Anybody that gets out there and pisses off somebody else, like I pissed you off, you can start turning in their channel and a blind squirrel's going to find a nut every once in a while and you two, three strikes and you're gone. Facebook, you just get 30 day suspensions, uh, but they took all the white. Uh, and I want y'all to notice something else too. Notice the coincidence. When they took off my channel just a week before they had taken off Richard Spencer's channel and a lot of these white nationalists in America, they had taken off their Facebook pages, they had taken off their Twitter accounts, and they had taken down their YouTube channels. What did the white nationalists and all the white global white haters, about all 500 of them, <laughs> what did they do? They ganged together and they made them an internet hit squad and they're going around and they're shutting down people's channels. This is how my channel got shut down. It didn't get shut down for talking about aliens. It didn't get shut down for talking about the government. Well, not all about the government. It, get, it didn't get shut down for talking about Trump. It got t shut down for pointing out that racism is a lie, that, there's, that the racism in South Africa is a lie, that the racism everywhere is a lie, and it's not as bad as everybody thinks. I promoted showing free white people that can love anybody. I showed a free white Southern man that loves every human being as my brother and sister. Even you dumbass white haters, I love you too. I showed that you ain't got to like nobody. I showed you that you can coexist. I showed you that a white man can step away, that we don't need your money. I don't need your society. I don't need nothing from white America. I don't need nothing from the white world, and that's why you cocksuckers shut me down. But let me tell you something you new world order ass-kissing white supremacist motherfuckers need to learn right now. I ain't a coward like you fucking bastards. I've already had two parties since this happened. Open invites to the goddamn world. Ain't a one of you white cocksuckers showed up yet. But black folks showed up. A brown folk showed up. Human beings showed up at my party. We all tripped and had a great time. But none of you motherfuckers showed up. That's my real motherfucking name. I ain't scared of a goddamn thing. But you motherfuckers are. You white fucking cowards. You might as well wear a sheet because you like ghosts. You disappear when there's some action. You disappear when somebody says, come on, get you some. No, that's when you just run your mouth online. Well, I busted you motherfuckers out. I got your own people from South Africa and some people from Australia, Australia telling me that they're in your little internet hit squad, your little internet white nationalist Nazi Gestapo hit squad. So do some Zeke Hiles. Shut down some channels. We'll just make more channels because people like me speak the truth when we talk about the race issues, especially the race issues. There's not a 10 cent worth of difference in any one of us, but we're all different human beings in our mind and in our soul. Did you know that? So when you get that part through your thick Aryan nation head, uh, maybe you'll be able to get along with your brother and coexist with him. But the reason why the people that call me brother, the people out there that call me your brother, the reason why I was shut down was because I show a free white man free of racism, free of their God, free of their money, free of their system, free of their society. And they don't fucking like it. They don't want you to see that. They don't want these. They, these are other white people that are ashamed of me because they're ashamed of their fucking selves. They can't live without a grocery store. They, they can't they can't even walk down the street with their head, 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 their head held up high unless they can condemn another human being or have another human being be lesser than them. You think about raping children just like you said you wanted to rape my grandchild, you white supremacist cock sucking motherfuckers. So turn in this fucking video. The thing is, you can do the keyboard coward internet fucking bullshit all you want. I want one of you cocksuckers to come up and get in my fucking face. <laughs> I want one of you motherfuckers to get in my face. I take the charge. I pay the fine. I do the time. I'll beat you so motherfucking bad.
And then he's going to sit out and say, well, that's all you do, Bill. That's all you do is talk shit on the line. I've given out open invitations. That's my real name, my address. People have been here from New York, Michigan, San Francisco, California, Tampa, Florida, Washington, D.C., Missouri, Chicago, Illinois. I got motherfuckers, Ohio, everywhere have been here. Why ain't you here? Don't miss it. Be there. <laughs> Don't be dumb. Come get you some. Because that's what it's going to take, y'all. We have defeated these motherfuckers. We have shut them down. Now, they're turning around, and they're using what you extreme extremist liberals did. I don't think we should be turning in people's channel unless, I mean, that's your, all right, that's your business. You go do what you want, but here's what it costs. They're going to just turn around and do the same thing. They're not that smart. So once they see you do something, they're going to do monkey see, monkey do. So, yeah, you can call a white supremacist a monkey. Because y'all just copied the people that shut you down. So you're our little monkey puppets, motherfucker. Who's the monkey now? Huh? Fucking crackerhead, motherfucker. The thing is, they're going to just come around and get us, and we'll have to keep our truth going. But the thing out there, like I said, the people that call me, brother, let's just continue living our lives in their face, being united, being tried. You get me now? Let's just keep on doing what we're doing. Because you see how mad they are now? They'll just shut down a channel. They'll come at you. Quit fighting with them. We won. We fucking won. They ain't got nothing left but some internet bullshit. We live it every day. They can't stop me from living the way I can. And they can't stop me from showing you how I live. And I only show you how I live. I know you don't want to live like me. Come on. But you want to be free, don't you? Every human being wants to be free. There's nothing wrong with being free, but you can't be free until you free your mind. And when you free your mind from this government and this system and the lies of racism and money and religion, you'll, then you'll be free. Then you can walk out and realize that death is going to happen. It's how you live that matters. And these people don't live. Why don't we keep living, brothers and sisters? I got people out there like that dumbass awesome games and a lot of haters from YouTube that's finally going to get a chance to get one more shot at me. Because I used to just block them, y'all. And you say I block you because you're a coward. No, I block you because you take up my time on my channel. I get out and say something to people that have nothing to do with you, but because you're scared to be free, because you're scared of the black man, because you're scared of women, because you're because you're homophobic, because you can't be friends with everybody, you come fucking attack me and talk about my ideology and my and my propaganda. What propaganda have I ever talked? What love your brother? So that's that. Love your brother as you love yourself. I thought Jesus said that first. So, so is Jesus a propagandist? Huh? So what's my propaganda? Love yourself as you love your brother so you, we can all love our planet. So to love yourself, that's propaganda. You fuckers don't even know the words you're using, you stupid motherfuckers. You don't even know the words you're using. No, I am an idealist. And what I believe in is an idea because we can only live it in our minds. Yeah, the man keeps us down, you stupid ass. We all know that. But we don't let, you know, we also know that he can only kill us. So all a man can do is kill me. All you can do is kill me. But you'll never shut my mouth. I don't give a fuck if you took every video I ever made and sent it out to deep space. People have already been touched by the message of unity and brotherhood. People have already, that I talk to almost every day, appreciate the fact that a real brother came out and said, I love you. That's all that most people ever wanted to hear. I love you. And I do love you. Like I said, there's a bunch of y'all I don't like, and that's you fucking white haters. But you got what you want. You got exactly what you want. Because you're human beings, and I'm being human. And that'll always be on you. That'll always be on you for being the coward that you are. For being the weak, miserable, pathetic fucking coward that you are. That you hide in the dark. I bet you're in the dark when you're on your keyboard, ain't you? Or on your phone. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate. <laughs> That it, man. But you be you and shut this channel down. Shut it down. And I'll just make another one. I'll listen, by the way, for the rest of y'all. I did get in touch with Google. YouTube ain't owned by themselves. I think Google owns them now. And they shut down that Google account and I made another one. Uh, um, made another YouTube page, as y'all can tell. Uh, that'll be shut down. I predicted this other one would be shut down. So this one will probably get shut down. They'll find a reason. Uh, I'll give them a reason because I, I like my free speech too. And I don't mind paying for it. Unlike you fucking white supremacist bitches. You don't want to pay for your free speech. Do you? Fucking pussy. Pussy ass motherfucker. Don't want to pay for your goods, huh? Yeah, that's another kind of thievery, ain't it? 
But thing is, um, uh, YouTube, the Google lady told me flat out that I was hit by a bunch of people turning in major videos one at a time. She saw, I asked her, I said, listen, I don't care if you put the channel back up. I ain't no beggar. The thing is, I just want you to see that the people you shut down last month are now going around and they're shutting down truthers and, and, they're, and they're, shut, they're shutting down people that promote brotherhood and unity and equality amongst mankind. So you kick that bee's nest and now they're going around fucking with people like me. And she's going to give me some information this week and I'll give it to y'all as soon as I get it. But she was going to send it up to the next higher up. She thought it was worth doing. Uh, she saw uh, the claim I was making to be valid that I'm being attacked by Starbird and his group of people and some white nationalists here in America and a few more over. And uh, actually, it's uh, it's over. It's about 200 something people all together. And did you know that you can get 50 people to make a complaint on a YouTube channel and basically shut it down? Uh, and listen, this is my second video on YouTube right now. My Well, and I'm doing it. I'm on Facebook Live right now. And that's what I do. I do Facebook Live. That's why you YouTube fuckers, I knew you were going to shut my channel down over a year ago. So I got all my shit on YouTube, on Facebook too. To get you some, dumbass. But uh, besides them shutting it down, um, you, YouTube can be hit by 50 people and you'll start getting warnings. But they took the very first video I did about the haters can't kill an idea. And look how it says age restricted. See, I already been turned in on that. They turned me in because I was smoking a bowl on it. They're going to turn me in this one for cussing and calling them baby rapers because that's what you are, you white men in South Africa. You ain't nothing but a bunch of baby raping fucks. If you ain't fucking doing it uh, in, in real life, you're doing it in your mind. And what's on your mind's in your mouth. So there you go. That's what you people are down there. You're sick. You are some sick fuckers. I've been reading, our, been reading comments back from y'all for the last six months now, so four months now last four months and all y'all talk about is raping kids and uh and raping why do i be raped why can't you talk about beating somebody's ass why can't you say hey bill let's put them up no you don't want to fight you want to fuck and you want to fuck something lesser than you and you want to take it which makes you an animal you're the animal and you're calling them other people animals they ain't threatening to rape me the black man in south africa ain't threatening to rape me the black man over here in america ain't threatening to rape me ain't nobody threatening to rape me but you and my one-year-old little granddaughter so you're a bunch of pieces of shit and I busted you out, and Starbird, Star Pants, whatever you want to call it, you've been busted out, you fake ass motherfucker, with your 6,200 subs. 27,478, Starbird. 27,478. Until you get to there, you ain't got shit for subs. Your 6,200 subs, big deal. Oh, yeah, and I think I got like 70 now. Y'all shut me down. And that's fine, because I never was out here for subs. But you wanted to throw it in my face about subs on some shit. You want to throw it in my face that uh, I was making shit up and I'm a hillbilly that I ain't got nothing. You make the most ex great videos. I mean, you really put a lot of time and effort into them and all the pictures and stuff. And all I do is cut my camera on and do live. People can't hardly understand me because I'm a redneck hillbilly white trash and talk Southern. So they don't hardly understand me anyway, but they listen because I'm a brother. I'm a human being and you're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit, Starbird. You and your racist, white supremacist motherfucking friends can kiss my white cracker ass and you're more than welcome to come up on this mountain and pick which butt cheek you want to kiss because when you turn around you're gonna get your ass kicked that goes for any of you that come to this fucking mountain but it's been there i don't hide like you guys you all got fake names that cracks me up you come at me and tell me how fake and how i got and i'm spewing propaganda and you all got fake names gunshine fast starbird disagrees Awesome games. All you white racist motherfuckers got fake names. White pride. All of you got the fake names. No address. YouTube account that's been there for like two months. <laughs> no content. And just fake names and running your mouth. Fake names. Fake bravado. Keyboard coward pussies. So there you go. Now, since we told this, I told you that there, and this is for the human beings out there, so you haters. Y'all can go by now. I got nothing more to say, y'all. Oh, you got one of them. Gonna take that with you. All right. The rest of y'all out there, seriously, I have found out over the last five days that there is a very large group of people. As far as internet gang stalkers goes, this one's pretty big. Uh, I know of at least 200 that have gone to my YouTube. I was told that much. I was not given a one name. Google does not give out no information. Matter of fact, Google don't care, y'all. Google don't give a fuck. If you lose a channel, you might as well stop right there. You might as well stop right there. But, uh, but there you go. That's the, the story. Uh, but, uh, the, it, it, but it could be large. It could be as large as about 
maybe uh, from I've heard estimates from about two to six thousand, and they go around and they flood in uh, complaints on channels like mine, probably channel channels like uh, uh, Cabin Talk. They probably done uh, Claudia that way. Uh, but I don't know if Gerald uh, Kenyatta. Hey, he does a good thing. He speaks a lot about unity and brotherhood uh, and the government. They're, they they love the government too, y'all. These white supremacists love the government because guess what? They got their man in there now. They got Trump in there. You see what I'm saying? All this goes hand in hand, man. But they're they're on the ropes, man. They're on the ropes. The good news is the white supremacists are on the ropes. They're losing. I'm pretty sure next year the statistics come out on on white supremacists. Y'all gonna y'all ain't gonna be no nine percent anymore. And uh, you better learn to get along with your brother. You better learn to get along with your brother. Because shit, that, when that electrical grid pops, all of us are going to be in each other's head. And that's going to be a sad time. And uh, we ain't going to be talking on the internet. We ain't going to be talking nowhere except for face-to-face -face for real right then. And, and you might be wondering, I bet people are going to be a lot nicer when the grid goes now. <laughs> you can bet on that. Anyway, I love y'all. And uh, I'm going to get off here. I just wanted to explain this and let you know that we're winning. They're losing. And this group of people going around. Uh, I know of at least 200, but it may be 6,000 strong. Uh, up to 6,000 strong. Uh, pay attention. Um, watch. Uh, just look. Just do more blocking. No matter what you do, the Google lady did tell me that once you block somebody, they, they can't. Uh, like if they just turn you in, that the computer reads this in. Oh, and she confirmed that people don't look at the content. It's just a computer. So all you uh, internet white supremacists that think YouTube and Facebook and Twitter is working for you, it's a computer. So the computer loves you. The computer loves you, white supremacist. <laughs> Probably programmed by one of you motherfuckers. But they don't mind you, white supremacist, but it uh, it will shut you down. Like I have and other people have. And you shut me down. Go ahead. It's just battles in a war. But the end of this war, you got to remember, when it's nine people fighting 91, the nine people are going to lose. 91% of the world is melanated. 9% is white. I hope you white supremacists get that through your fucking head. Why can't you just be a brother because it's cool to be a brother? I'll never understand that. Now, you people in South Africa, bye-bye. rest of y'all, I love you. Peace. And don't live in fear. Don't live in fear. I love you.